I hear a wind chime and I'm breathing easier for the first time in months. And I'm allowing myself to be sad. And I'm realizing that I feel weak from liking you so much when you toy with me like a broken yo-yo. Well, I may be a yo-yo, but I am a working one. And I would rather be with someone who knows how to play with me properly. I'm not falling at your feet anymore. You should be licking my boots for fuck's sake, because because I'm gorgeous and smart and fierce and funny, and even if I was none of those things, I am a woman, God damn it. And that is why. Thank you. God damn it. God damn it. You went to sleep at 2 p.m. The lights were on, but that was no bother. You wake up knowing that the solution to world hunger appeared in your dream. It's on the tip of your tongue, but you just can't remember. <laughs> Fuck it, you say. It's midnight now, your favorite hour. Silver tight pants and black eyeliner. You're ready to be here. You walk down 30th Avenue. One cat call, two. Then stared down by two teenagers wearing the same pants as you. Fuck them, you think. You realize that you're smiling, so you quickly stop that. You're no masochist. You make it to the train. Someone holds the doors open for you, his arms straining. You feel like you might owe him something, but you say nothing. The train curves up to the plaza, and you see the Chrysler building. You spot your favorite graffiti, now that five points is destroyed. It says, it's raining, but fuck it. You smile, but swiftly stop. You're no torturous. It would kill you to think that the man across from you caught a glimpse of your upturned lips. Men think too many things, so fuck them. <laughs> You're finally here. The city lights rebound off your silver tight pants. This is not Christmas, but it feels like it. You breathe, you smile, fuck it. <laughs> He said, I know you need that right now. She said, don't be so hard on yourself. He said, you should party more. She said, let's take a break from this. He said, take this, it'll be fun. She said, I know you lied to me. He said, now I know what he meant by TVI. She said, we can sit at a safe distance and sip water. He said, I miss you. She said, your body is perfect. He asked, why do you ignore me? She said, I play weird jazz that nobody cares about. He said, I am almost exclusively a passionate human. She said, let's watch a movie and not talk till after, but then we can yell. He said, depends on the genre and cadence. She said, I am going on a psychedelic camping trip and need to be at Grand Central. He said, at midnight, I turn into a maniac. She asked, what are you going to do to me? He said, I think that is technically sexual aesthetic extortion or something. <laughs> she said, it's time to go and come back a drifter. He asked, how far are you from Greenpoint? She said, it was good breathing into his lungs like that. He said, come to the studio, are you coming? She said, if I stay in New York, I don't really have a place. He asked, how close? I just walked for two days. She said, you are the most difficult. He said, we drink for free. She said, I love you. He said, I'm really glad I know you. She said, I can't be your first. He asked, are you watery? She said, go ahead. He said, go ahead. I say, go ahead. Thank 